Welcome to one of our uh, devotions. And this devotion this week is on the concept of handling conflicts. And I'm glad you're able to stop here at City Campus this week. My name is Kurt Taylor. I'm one of the ministers here at City Campus. And these devotions are designed for just a couple of minutes to get in the Bible every morning. So let's go ahead and go to our presentation and uh, see what we're talking about in handling conflicts today. Well, as you know, we've been talking about this uh, bit of a acronym of peace when we talk about handling conflicts. And yesterday we talked about patience. Today we're talking about excusing. And I don't want you to think we're just talking about like letting conflicts go. But there's another way to handle it. Let's see what the Bible has to say about it. So I know we all get hurt by things. You know, we're, we're all damaged. Um, something's really, really hurt. But if you can forgive and if you can even excuse some faults, it's worth your time. Forgive. And love helps a lot in that. Um, today, a person I know, a neighbor, um, came out of his car and was very, very angry and said some very terrible things to me. I mean, not about me, but he was just angry and all the stuff that's going on and drove him crazy today, you know, and it's awful. But, you know, I forgive him. I, I can't, I can't hold that against him. And I forgive him. I, I didn't get to forgive him then because I think he was too angry to receive it. But I forgive him for me. And when I see him, I'll forgive him. So that's just the way it plays. And I think that's the right play. Colossians uh, 3, 13 and 14 says this, make allowance for each other's faults. Forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us together in perfect harmony. That's from the New Living Translation. My gosh, that's what we need to do, you know, when that person gets too close to you. <laughs> no, forgive them, but ask them to go back anyway. Uh, when that person cuts you off in the line trying to get inside uh, Walmart, forgive them. Make allowance. They're just as freaked out as you are. And um, make allowance for all those things. Love others. In fact, Jesus said the top two were love God, love others. You play in that game, you'll be in good shape. In fact, let's look at our uh, theme verse for the week. And that's Leviticus 19.18. Don't try to get even. Don't hold anything against any of your people. Instead, love your neighbors as you love yourself. Sounds familiar. I am the Lord. So that's it for this week. We're going to love others and forgive them, excuse some of their faults. We have plenty of our own to be excused. So let's pray. God, uh, thank you for uh, excusing our faults and forgiving us. And God, I uh, pray that we'll help to... Uh, Help us to excuse other people's faults and help us to forgive others and love them. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, don't forget to hit share. And, uh, and uh, we, we love having you here. God bless you.